Michelle said she'd be here, but I don't. If if I'll give you the, you'll know when I invite you. <laughs>
about the significance of this? What is the significance of this? Um, it's a Chagall picture. Bringing the sacrifices? But you've got a you've got a cow there. It, it's the sacrifices. The sacrifice, which is in the part of the Torah portion. Because there's the Torah portion about sacrifice, yeah. and this is on its way to sacrifice. <laughs> I said I, I couldn't figure out what this was. <laughs> I think it's a shagal. Shabbat Shalom. So, you know, in pure Jewish fashion, you know, you, uh, people, Jews have a particular interesting way of coming into synagogues. It's too hot, it's too cold. It's not the right seat. <laughs> you, know, the, you know the old joke, the... Uh, so, this guest goes into a synagogue and sits down and it's quiet and somebody gently taps him on the shoulder and says, excuse me, and he thinks, oh, so they're going to welcome me. He says, it's excited. And the person says, you're in my seat. <laughs> so we are, in fact, inside. It was supposed to be cooler outside, so we thought we would be prudent to be inside, but... There you go. We can never depend on the weather. After all, it's eerie. Um, but we are together here for Shabbat, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, and uh, it's great to, to be together. And so we'll um, invite Chris and Jordan forward to light our Shabbat candles, and the blessing can be found on page two. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, 
so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Thank you. Ta Adonai, Elohenu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kishanu V'Mitzvotav, V'Tzianu V'Hadlik Ne'er Shel Shabbat. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. We turn together as we begin to get ourselves ready to welcome Shabbat. We turn to page 10 and join in Maya Fehayom. How beautiful, how beautiful this day is. And it is truly a beautiful day. My voice is still coming back, which means everyone needs to sing loud. <laughs> And on page 12, we join in Lechune Ranana. Come, let us sing joyously to God and sing joyously so that we can help Jesse sing. Raise a shout for a rock and deliverer. Let us come into God's presence with praise. Let us raise a shout for God in song. Better now than two weeks from now. Yes. <laughs> oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> Now picture it is the 15th century and you are living in the hilltop community of Svat in Israel and it is Friday night about this time the sun is beginning its descent and we go out into the fields and we metaphorically and mystically welcome our Shabbat bride into our hearts by singing Lecha Dodi, page 20. Oh, my God. 
Please rise. Please be seated as we turn together to page 24. Shalom Aleichem, those words of welcome, those words of praise, of the sense of peace, of wholeness. Shalom in Hebrew has multiple meanings. Like most words in Hebrew, it's kind of like Lego. You build them. You start with three-letter roots, and then you, you build up words. And so shalom can be... Uh, hello, it can be goodbye, it can be peace, it can also be uh, the way that you pay the bill. You complete the bill. You complete your obligations. And in a sense, in this, in this uh, greeting, you're hoping to send a sense of completeness to the person that you are greeting, that their lives should be full and complete. And so we wish that for all of us as we work ourselves and begin our way towards our New Year celebrations of Rosh Hashanah in just a few weeks. Let's join together. Page 24. <laughs> as we turn to page 26 for Chatzai Kaddish. Amen. Very 
תוש וחצה ונחם עצה Baruchu on page 28. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vayet. Please be seated as we continue with Ma'ariv Aravim, the prayer that in fact inspires us to praise God and thank God for the beautiful creations that surround us day by day. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. אשר בדברו מעריב ערבים, בהוכמה פותח שערים, ובתבונה משנה עיתים ומחליף את הזמנים, ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרותיהם ברקיע כרצונו. בורא יום ולילה גולל אור מפני חושך, וחושך מפני אור. ומעביר יום ומביא לילה. מבדיל בין יום ובין... לילה ארנאי צבאות שמו. אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה ארנאי המעריב ערבים. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows. And gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Turn to page 34. Take a moment, read the words on the page. <coughs> Think about what you want to listen to. The messages that you want to hear. Whether those messages come through your own silent prayers, whether they come to us from the prayer book, however they come to you. We think of those moments of quiet listening, of being by ourselves, or maybe in a group. Those moments of inspiration where we hear the words that help us. So take a few moments, close your eyes, and then we'll join together in Shema.
we join in Via Hafta on page 36. Hey, Trenton. You want to come lead Via Hafta? We need some help. You want to help me out? Yeah, we need your help. Come on. I know. But it's appreciated. And it's not usually my fault. Turn together to page 39 and let's join in the middle of the page. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did singing on the shores of the sea. Page 43. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai. Haporei sukkat shalom aleinu 
ועל כל עמו ישראל ועל ירושלים. We are a people in whom the past endures, in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens all the time. As we join in thanking God for the blessing of Shabbat with Vishamru on page 44. Vishamru Rise together for Amidah as we turn to page 46. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufiyagit dehilatecha. Adonai open our lips that our mouths may declare your praise.
Please be seated. Page 53. Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence, like lightning, illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see, wherever we gaze, that the bush burns unconsumed, and we, clay touched by God, will reach out for holiness and exclaim in wonder, how filled with awe is this place, and we did not know it. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el ha'kadosh. Page 55. Let's join together at the top of the page. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai. Mikadesh HaShabbat. Ever-present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch Ata Adonai, Sho'otcha Levadcha Bira Na'avod. And together at the top of page 59, God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulecha Na'eh. The Hodot. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul. And may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Shalom Yisrael
we take a few moments for silent prayer. We turn together to page 253, and we think about all those in our community who are in need of a blessing of healing. Sometimes healing can be for a physical ailment, sometimes a spiritual one, sometimes a healing of body or mind or a healing of a broken heart. And so as we join in this prayer, we think of all those who might need that extra love and that extra support. Those in our community, those in the broader community, and those all over the world who struggle. We especially mention Diane Levy, Martha Snyder, Evelyn Carpenter, Janice Zellers, Sharon Johns, Jay Kaler, Arlene Sandelstein, Sandra French, Fred Solomon, Cyrano Danu, John Myers, Sidney Scramenti, Suzanne Winterberger, Merv Weinman, and Ruby Mattis. If you, have, if you are joining us via live stream and you would like to add a name, please add the name into our chat. If you are joining us here in person, please share a name if you wish as I look around. We join together in our prayer for healing. Shabbat shalom.
This week we are reading Parshat Kitavo, which comes to us from the almost very end of Deuteronomy. We are into the home stretch. The people are just about to cross over into the land of Israel. And Moses, of course, has a few words to say. As Moses has been really giving us this very final farewell address, well, it's the whole book of Deuteronomy. But this is really Moses' very final words, and you can almost, it's almost palpable, you can, you can feel the energy in how desperate Moses is to convey this message to the people. And one of the messages that he conveys is, is the idea that people will be blessed at different points. And one of the times that we'll be blessed is, as Moses says, Baruch ba'ir. You'll be blessed in the city. Now the rabbis sort of scratch their heads and puzzle around that, saying, well, that, does that mean that if you live in the country, you're not going to be blessed? Does that, where does, how does that work? Right? Poor Aaron who lives in the middle of Cook Forest, you're out of luck. No, that's not true. In fact, because the rabbis come back and say, well, the blessing means that you should always try to live close to Jewish life. That ear is really a metaphor for Jewish communal experience, and you should live with, within a proximity, and the closer you live to that, the better off you are. But like most places in Talmud, there is dissent. Because in the other section, the Talmud says, no, no, you get extra mitzvah points if you have to work harder to do the mitzvah. So if you had to travel further, <laughs> and Aaron, you get the point. This guy drives two hours to get here. So you certainly get the points. So you get, there are these two conflicting ideas. There's a commentary that somebody posted online. I don't, I don't think it was attributed to anybody, but they said that that many people, um, in a way, sort of accept this extra stringencies on, on the mitzvah, right? There are uh, almost, and in the traditional community, this has become almost a game. Who can out halachic observe the next person, <laughs> right? If I'm going to wait three hours between milk and meat, I'm the next, I'm going to wait four. No, you should wait six. You should... And then it just spirals from there, right? Very seldom in Jewish life do people say, we used to wait three, now we wait one. But, or, you know, um, the, these, the, the idea, of course, is that by doing it more, we are in some way opening ourselves up to a bigger mitzvah commitment. The problem is that often these extra you know, layers or these extra extensive ideas that we come to have major implications for those around us, right? So let's say I want uh, you know, extra mitzvah points and so I'm gonna move to Cook Forest. I'm gonna be Aaron's next door neighbor. Except now my wife has to commute two hours each way to get to work. Right? Right, something that she might not be thrilled to do. So that places a whole other implication for, for those around us. High holidays are coming, right? And as we kind of prepare for them and get ourselves ready, um, one of the things that we think about are how do our actions and our words impact those around us? How can we give the blessing of Baruch HaTah Ba'ir? May you be blessed in your city, your dwelling place. 
How can we receive that blessing from each other? Taking, you know, the, the idea of giving to others, giving with our hearts, giving with our time, our attention, our love. And so we hope that this time as we prepare to embrace a new year is filled with reflection. Reflection on who we are as individuals and what we can be or what we can do as we move forward. Shabbat Shalom. We'll turn to uh, page 282 and rise for Elena. <laughs> Please be seated. As our thoughts turn now to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and of death. We are in the period of Aninut, the sad time of announcing a death in the community of David Lipsitz, and the, David's funeral will be on Monday. There will be a family visitation at 9.30 with the funeral service happening at 10.30 at Brugger Funeral Home on 38th uh, Street. We are also in the period of Shiva for Toby Pogrund. Pogrant. And we send condolences to Jesse and your family and your great aunt's passing. And on this Shabbat, we observe yard site for Ida Burstein, Florence Shack Daniels, Sis Lechner, J.C. McIntosh, Miriam Patton, Aaron Strasberger, Ruth Horowitz, Fred Wittenberg, Benjamin Brown, Herman Benjamin, Ida Cohen, Hannah Couric, Samuel Levick, Herman Rosenberg, Greta Schaffner, Yetta Felheim, Leopold Frankel, Henry Goldenberg, Marilyn Levinson, and Cindy Rhodes. 
If you are joining us via live stream and you would like to add a name, please add the name into our chat. If you are here in person and have a name that you would like to add, please do so. We rise together. We turn to page 294. Yit kadal veyit kadash shumei rava Ba'alma divrach rutei v'yamlich malchutei Bechai echon uv'yom echon Uv'chayi d'chol beit Yisrael Ba'agala v'izman kariv v'imru, amen Yehei shumei rava mevorach la'alam ularme almaya Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh Viet Hadar, Viet Ale, Viet Alal, Shemei de Kutsha Brihu, Leela min Kol Birchata Vishirata, Tush Bechata Venechamata, Damiran Bialma Vimru, Amen, Yehesh Lama Rabba min Shemai, Vichaim Alenu Vialko Yisrael, Vimru, Amen, O Se Shalom bin Romav, Hu Yaase Shalom. Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Please be seated. We'd like to invite Julie Cohen forward to share some announcements. Shabbat Shalom, everybody here and on YouTube. Thank you to Rabbi and Jesse for a beautiful service. If you looked at your handout, I am not, I am not Rochelle Kowinski. <laughs> She is with family this weekend, so I am filling in. Um, tomorrow, there will be no Shabbat services, but there will be Torah study at 9.30 via Zoom. And all the information on the High Holy Days is on the website, and it was in last month's bulletin. So you should have everything you need. If you can't find something, just call the office. They are happy to help you. If you do want to sign up for something on the website, you need to log in first. If you have not logged in before, then you'll need to call the office because they'll have to reset how you log in and give you the, the magic code. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, I would urge you to do it, though, so that you're all ready for next time. Um, also, Gesher, it's time to get them signed up. Gesher starts on the second day of Rosh Hashanah this year. Um, you can contact Cinder with any questions. And it's not, well, it's not on your service sheet. Kendra. I'm you sorry. Syndrome, but you <laughs> sorry. Sorry, you know, they sound the same. Con contact Kendra uh, with any questions. Um, and while it's not on here, Slichot is a week from tomorrow. <coughs> so if you would like to come for the service and the tour cover changing, right? And to have Edie's delicious ribs, um, then you do, there is no charge, but you do need to RSVP. So. Yes. Bring a side dish to share. And bring a side dish to share as well. Right. So, Shabbat Shalom. And we'll have an especial uh, changing of the, um, uh, an especially meaningful changing of our high holiday Torah covers, and that we'll begin using two of the new Torah covers that are uh, ready for our holidays. So, looking forward to that. Okay, and we'll conclude with Ose Shalom, those words and blessings and hopes for peace. And if I could have a little help with Kiddush and Mozi from the Maldet crew, that would be great. Come on up. Yes, you too. You get here first, so which would you like to do? Yeah. 